Timeouts. Boston just used their last timeout. Here we go. Tatum. Giannis switches on to him. Tatum and on to Kumpo, the superstar. Step back three on the way. Oh, it banks in. Jason Tatum puts Boston on top with a window three. How about that? A prayer answer. Tatum over Giannis. And Boston by two with .4 seconds remaining. Turned into a one-on-one -on -one game. The best defender on the Bucks goes up against the best offensive player on Boston. Taking their time, getting the best shot available. His patented move, we've seen Tatum do that. In and out, left dribble, step back to the left angle. And yeah, the bank's open. You can act like you meant to hit that off the glass. In the words of Paul Pierce, I didn't call glass. I called game. Over the defensive player of the year. And Chris, you talk about defined roles. Tatum's shot to make. As tough as it was, he knocks it down. He scored seven of the last nine Boston points. Still a chance here for Milwaukee. Remember, with the timeouts remaining, he can advance the ball. There's .4 left and down two. Time for a catch and shoot here, Chris, but it's got to be quick. It can be quick, but this is what you don't want to lose. You do not want a back screener coming up to get a shooter. Both men going to the shooter and an easy alley-oop at the basket. We've seen this play many times. Right now, Anthony Kupo passing the ball in. I remember Chris Middleton hit a big shot here in a playoff game before sober time. That was back in 2018. Robert Williams was on the floor for Boston, and Brad Stevens changes his mind now. He's going to bring Teague back on. I do Bucks. wonder why Anthony Kubo is inbounding the ball. It seems like he should be in the play closest to the basket. One of the best finishers in the game. Got to be a catch and shoot. Mike Budenholzer wants a timeout. Maybe it was all a wooden duck, Chris. Maybe it's all a decoy. He had a timeout in his pocket, and Budenholzer takes it, and now we will draw one up. The final point four left in this one. What a game. What a way to start the year for these two teams. Great play and call that time. Lopez was under the basket. Looking as if, hey, throw it up. I can tip it in that time. As you see right here, look at Lopez. Act like he's going to pick and then what does he do? Ducks right in saying, wait a minute, throw it up to me. Anthony Kubo taking his time, but again, just because he's the inbounder doesn't mean that Lopez can't inbound and do the same thing and put Anthony Kubo in those same spots. Middleton at the top. Here we go. Five count is on. Connaughton first, not there. Going up top, Giannis, and a foul. No basket. It was a whistle prior to against Boston. Oh, this could mean free throws and a possession. Let's sort this out and see where the foul was called. They'll certainly go to review. The same exact play as before. The same play, you just put a different man in a different position. That's why you do want to pay attention to the first stance of what they're doing. All they did was move a man out to the corner so that Anthony Kubo did not have to screen the clock down. Going to zeros by rule, it triggers an automatic replay for time. And I so. could argue Anthony Kubo on that play actually held Thompson having been in this position many times before with this lob at the end of games. Foul was called prior to the clock going to zero before there was a touch. Nick Booker the official who made that call. Everybody keeping an eye on that video board. The officials are reviewing this one. Clock doesn't move no touch whistle was blown I believe prior to. We'll get an explanation shortly from the officials. You can see how close the foul it is. occurred before the ball was legally touched. The game clock's reset to four tenths. Giannis shoots two free throws for the lineup. Wow. And that's worst case scenario for Boston. That's what they were afraid of. And now, Chris, how it turns. On to Kupo, a chance 
to tie it with free throws. B.A., the worst case scenario is if he would have made the shot. You want Giannis at the line if you're the opposing team as opposed to dunking on you. You want to see if he can knock these two free throws down late. He's made four in a row at the line. And Giannis knocks down the first clutch free throw by Ana Kumpo. Huge call at the end of this game. Giannis for the top. Oh, he comes up short, and that's it. The ball was touched. The game is over. Anadokounmpo misses a chance to tie it, and the Boston Celtics win the opener at TD Garden tonight. 122-121, Tatum's three-pointer is a game winner. Oh, the Greek freak will be crushed, leaving a free throw short to tie it, Chris. Well, as I said, the worst-case scenario on that is for him to dunk on you and get an automatic two points. We've seen, first of all, he is the reigning MVP. You better put some respect on his name. However, when it comes to free throws and three-pointers, You'd be happy to let the reigning MVP take those shots and let the chips fall where they may, because you can't stop him in any other part of the game. Donna DeCoupo have made five consecutive free throws until that miss. He ends up with.